Hey y'all, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today is January the 4th, and it is Tuesday, 2022. I was going to say 21. And I shall be reading to y'all Gospel of John, chapter 4, verses 1 through 54, and Revelation to St. John. Chapter 4, verses 1 through 11. Very short chapter up in Revelation. Anyway, check out my YouTube channel. Check out my music videos. I also teach as well. And I also posted some other scripture and prayer videos as well. So, yeah. And this is day four of John's books. And let us begin. Gospel of John, chapter four. Now when Jesus learned that the Pharisees had heard that Jesus was making and baptizing more disciples than John, although Jesus himself was not baptizing, just his, just his disciples, he left Judea and returned to Galilee. The Samaritan woman. He had to pass through Samaria. So he came to a town of Samaria called Sinclair, near the plot of land that Jacob had given to his son Joseph. Jacob's well was there. Jesus, tired him from his journey, sat down there at the well. It was about noon. A woman of Samaria came to draw water. Jesus said to her, Give me a drink. His disciples had gone into the town to buy food. The Samaritan woman said to him, How can you, a Jew, ask me, a Samaritan woman, for a drink? For Jews use nothing in common with Samaritans. Jesus answered and said to her, if you knew the gift of God, and who was saying to you, Give me a drink, you would have asked him, and he would have given you living water. The woman said to him, Sir, you do not even have a bucket, and the cistern is deep. Where then can you get this living water? Are you greater than our father Jacob? who gave us his cistern and drink from it himself with his children and his flocks. Jesus answered and said to her, Everyone who drinks this water shall be thirsty again, but whoever drinks the water I shall give him will never thirst. The water I shall give will become in him a spring of water welling up to eternal life. The woman said to him, Sir, Give me this water so that I may not be thirsty or have to keep coming here to draw water. Jesus said to her, Go, call her husband and come on back. The woman answered and said to him, I do not have a husband. Jesus answered her, You are right in saying, I do not have a husband. For you have had five husbands, and the one you have now is not your husband. What you have said is true. The woman said to him, Sir, I can see that you are a prophet. Our ancestors worshipped on this mountain, but you people say that the place to worship is in Jerusalem. Jesus said to her, Believe me, woman, the hour is coming. When you will worship the Father, neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem. You people worship what you do not understand. We worship what we understand, because salvation is from the Jews. But the hour is coming, and is now here, when true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and truth. And indeed, the Father seeks such people to worship him. God is spirit, and those who worship him must worship in spirit and in truth. The woman said to him, I know that the Messiah is coming, the one called the Anointed. When he comes, he will tell us everything. 
Jesus said to her, I am he, the one who is speaking to you. At that moment, his disciples returned and were amazed that he was talking with a woman. But still, no one said, what are you looking for? Or why are you talking with her? The woman left her water jar and went into the town and said to the people, Come see a man who told me everything I have done. Could he possibly be the Messiah? They went out of the town and came to him. Meanwhile, the disciples urged him, Rabbi, eat. But he said to them, I have food to eat of which you do not know. So the disciples said to one another, Could someone have brought him something to eat? Jesus said to them, My food is to do the will of the one who sent me, and to finish his work. Do not do you not say in four mo- in four months the harvest will be here? I tell you, look up and see the fields ripe for the harvest. The reaper is already receiving his payment and gathering crops for eternal life, so that the sower and the reaper can rejoice together. For here the saying is verified that one sows and another reaps. I send to you to reap what you have not worked for. Others have done the work, and you are sharing the fruits of their work. Many of the Samaritans of that town began to believe in him because of the word of the woman who testified. He told me everything that I have done. When the Samaritans came to him, they invited him to stay with them, and he stayed there two days. Many more began began to believe in him because of his word, and they said to the woman, We no longer believe because of we no longer believe because of your word, for we have heard for ourselves, and we know that this is truly the Savior of the world. Return to Galilee. After two days, he left there for Galilee, for Jesus himself testified that a prophet has no honor in his native place. When he came to, into Galilee, the Galileans wel- welcomed him. Since they had seen all that he had done in Jerusalem at the feast, for they themselves had gone to the feast. Second sign at Cana. Then he returned to Cana in Galilee, where he had made water wine. Now, there is a royal official whose son was ill in Capernaum. When he heard that Jesus had arrived in Galilee from, from Judea, He went to him and asked him to come down and heal his son, who was near death. Jesus said to him, Unless you people see signs and wonders, you will not believe. The royal official said to him, Sir, come down before my son dies. Jesus said to him, You may go, your son will live. The man believed what Jesus said to him and and left. While he was on his way back, his slaves met him and told him that his boy would live. He asked them when he began to recover. They told him, The fever left him yesterday about one in the afternoon. The father realized that just at that time, Jesus said to him, Your son will live. And he and his whole household came to believe. Now, this was the second sign Jesus did when he came to Galilee from Judea. And that was Gospel of John, chapter 4, verses 1 through 54. And this is also the tenth day of Christmas. So I'm wishing you all a Merry Christmas as well. And now on to Revelation. Okay. Revelation to St. John. Chapter 4. Book 3. 
God and the Lamb in Heaven, Chapter 4 Vision of the Heavenly Worship After this, I had a vision of an open door to heaven, and I heard the trumpet-like voice that had spoken to him to me before, saying, Come up here, and I will show you what must happen afterwards. At once I was caught up in the spirit. A throne was there in heaven, and on the throne sat one whose appearance sparkled like jasper, and carlion. Around the throne was a halo as brilliant as an emerald. Surrounding the throne, I saw twenty-four other thrones on which twenty-four elders sat, dressed in white garments and with gold crowns on their heads. From the throne came flashes of lightning, rumblings, and peals of thunder. Seven flaming torches burned in front of the throne which are the seven spirits of God. In front of the throne was something that resembled a sea of glass that like crystal. In the center and around the throne, there were four living creatures covered with eyes in front and in back. The first creature resembled a lion. The second was like a calf. The third had a face like that of a human being and the fourth looked like an eagle in flight. The four living creatures, each of them with six wings, were covered with eyes inside and out. Day and night, they do not stop, ex- do not stop exclaiming, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and who is, and who is to come. Whenever the living creatures give glory and honor and thanks to the one who sits on the throne who lives forever and ever, the 24 elders fall down before the one who sits on the throne and worship him, who lives forever and ever. They throw down their crowns before the throne, exclaiming, Worthy are you, Lord our God, to receive glory and honor and power, for you created all things. Because of your will, they came to be and were created. And that was Revelation chapter 4, verses 1 through 11. And Merry Christmas again, and check out my YouTube channel. God love ya.